Hello guys, agri lovers, farm owners and agripreneurs in the house. Welcome back to your favorite agricultural and agribusiness YouTube channel. So last week I got a question from one of our viewers and the question goes thus. Hello Lamblad Farms, I established my oil palm farm about four years ago, but I'm yet to see any of the trees fruiting what could be the problem so on today's episode i'll be addressing and answering this question in details but before i do that i would like to appreciate you all for your support for your encouragement for your patronage and for the likes for the comments everything you've been doing for the channel i so much appreciate and if you are watching for the first time this channel is dedicated to promote sustainable and profitable agriculture and if that's exactly what you are looking for why not click on subscribe button to have access to more of my videos thank you so much so uh back to the business of today so i got a question from one of our viewers uh telling me that he established his oil palm farm about four years ago but up to the present moment we are talking he has not seen any of the trees fruiting so normally all things being equal when you establish your oil palm farm you do everything in the right way you should see your first fruit at approximately three years it's normally less than three years within two points 2.8 years you should see your 2.8 2.5 years you should see your first uh fruit but there are some instances like this where people face this kind of situation so uh this kind of problem can be due and so the problem uh this person or the question this person is asking can be due to different factors and particularly three major factors and i will be discussing these three major factors in this video the number one factor is that maybe maybe not maybe while planting while establishing your oil palm farm the seedling you use are not mature before you can think of having your your plantation to come to fruiting within two and a half years or three years one of the condition is that the seedling you'll be using must be a mature seedling a seedling of around 10 months to 12 months of a year very very mature so if you are not using a mature seedling you are using a seedlet which is around three year, uh, three months or four months definitely you will not be seeing your your fruit uh your your oil palm tree coming to fruit at the appropriate time and one of the disadvantage associated with using a uh, seedling that are not mature is that when you establish when you plant you will end up losing most of them don't forget they are not mature yet so that is the number one possible reason why your your farm you, you are you are yet to see any of your tree coming to fruit so the number two possible cause of this problem is the problem of the planting material you use when you are planting when you are establishing your field so when you when the planting material is pure tenera you are very very sure it's tenera this kind of problem is most likely will most likely not occur so this kind of problem will occur maybe the planting material you use is dura and as you all know there's no way you can differentiate between a dura seedling or a and the tenera seedling and even a dura tree and a tenera tree you can only know them through their fruit by their fruit we shall know them so when you use a planting material that is not an hybrid that is not tenera it will take longer time before those three uh, comes to fruiting normally within five or seven years so that is another possible cause 
why you are not seeing any of your tree fruiting. So the number three possible cause I will be talking about is actually like three or four in one. Is about stress. The number one of them is maybe, maybe due to water stress. Maybe during the time of your establishment, you establish during the dry season. So those seedlings suffer water stress and this one will affect their future productivity. Maybe that's what's happening. Another thing is shock, planting shock. So it is very, very advised that whenever you are establishing your, your seedling, your oil palm feed, you do it with care. Don't forget we use the ball of the heart method to plant our seedling. The seedling in that big poly bag you only remove the poly bag gently. You don't tamper with the soil at the bottom. Then you put it inside the, the pit you already, you've already uh, dug on your, on your farm. Then you cover it up. You do it very, very gently without causing or causing minimal uh, disturbance to the rooting system. The rooting system of the oil palm is very, very sensitive. So in the course of planting, maybe you the people that uh, undo the planting for you have damaged the roots so this one will also tell on the productivity maybe maybe not that's what's affecting them so uh, so uh, another possible cause is the nutrient uh, availability how nutrient how nutri uh, how fertile is your soil so when the soil or the land you use is not fertile this also tends to affect the the maturity or the fruiting of your oil palm tree and lastly but not the least the terrain of the environment maybe the land is rocky if the land is rocky or is very stony this particularly affects oil palm a lot because oil palm have a very sensitive and a fibrous rooting system so planting it in a stony or in a rocky environment will will affect them in having a grip stand on the on the ground and also deprive them of the required nutrient for them to function properly so uh, i think i've done some justice to your question and these are the possible causes so you have to look inward which of them do you think you you are guilty of then you will know where the problem uh, is coming from with this, I've come to the end of today's uh, topic. If you got value from this video, kindly give it a like, share with your friends uh, for us to reach a wider, wider audience. And for further question, uh, for consultation, drop it in the comment section and contact me on the WhatsApp number displayed on your screen. Thank you for your time. Uh, thank you for your attention. See you on my next video. Shishi.